All right, let's find the amplitude, period, and phase shift for a trigonometric function. In this case, the cosine function. So first up, let's find the amplitude for this. The amplitude is going to be given by this number out in front. Um, what we want to do is actually take the absolute value of that number. This one is already positive, so that means the amplitude is going to be positive 4 um, for this function. Next up, let's talk about the um, period. The period is going to be given by the original uh, period for cosine, which would be 2 pi, meaning the distance between when it, um, when it begins and when it ends before it repeats itself. And what we want to do is this multiple on the inside is going to be the original period divided by that number. So in our case, 2 pi over 10, which works out to be pi over 5. All right, finally, we want to find the phase shift of this. The phase shift is going to be this number divided by this number in the middle. Or a little bit easier way to think about this, I always like to factor these first. So if we factor this, we can rewrite this as uh, 4 times the cosine of, I'm going to factor out a 10 between both of these terms on the inside of our function. So if I remove that 10, I'm going to definitely have an x there. But then next to that, we want to be thinking, 10 times some number, I'm going to call it c, is equal to pi over 4. So we'll divide both sides by 10 or multiply both sides by 1 tenth. So our value that's going to go on the inside is going to be pi over 40. So minus pi over 40. Um, after you've done this factoring, what we want to be looking at is this number on the inside that is going to be shifted by pi over 40. And in this case, because it's being subtracted, that's going to kind of work counterintuitively to how we think it should, but it's going to move everything to the right. Um, if that was an addition, that would be moving everything to the left. All right, hope this helps on finding amplitude, period, and phase shifts.